Welcome to a motif tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to use the arpeggiator function. So, what is that? Well, let's listen to it. How's he doing it? It's just one note. So, that's cheating to the nth degree, right? It's gonna make music easy for you people that well for me I can't play the drum, so this is this is awesome. I'm just gonna sidetrack this real quick. We're gonna click the the button there and I'll go to the drums. Uh GMs shortcut. And I go let's see here I got stereo drums on my favorite button. Let's click it. Right. Yeah. Playing drums like that is lame. Playing drums like this. Hold up. It should sound cooler than that. There we go. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, so for those that need help, like me playing the drums, this is your ticket. Let's go back to the piano sound. Uh, I have mode, voice, and I want to category the piano. Full concert grand. To turn this on, it's simple. You just press this button. It should go red. Hold it down. And if you want to change it, there's these other options right here. Um, if it has a note by it, it means there's something in that preset. Uh, next to the ARP, there's different ones. Sometimes there's nothing, and you try to click it. And you're like, oh, I want something different. And there's nothing different because there's nothing set in there. And... Uh, Let's go to the synth sound, because this, this is really where it thrives, in my opinion, using the synthesizers. You want to use some, like, trans thing, you know, just, it's real robotic. Uh, but sometimes they make it natural, too, but it, with the roboticness, it's it's cool for the, the music genre. Let's see. Synth lead. Um, I'm going to even go down. I have a sound that I'm thinking of. It's super trans. Where do you hide super trans? There you are. So this this ARP function, when the arpeggiator's on, it's gonna do like gate, so it's gonna slice up the sound. Slice up the sound. How that is different from the piano one is when I press the note on the piano, I was actually doing other notes. So I'd press this one and, and it did like an algorithm kind of thing or whatever, math, you know. So it'd be like, hey, let's play, say, uh, you know, three half steps higher, one, two, three, and then it maybe again make a chord. Let me turn that off. So it would do that all based off of something you'd play, and um, it built on it kind of in a math-like way. This one it's still math, but in a different one. Instead of playing different notes, it's gonna take the same one and edit it. You can change it up, and there's going to be different styles of it. So you want to play like the piano, or um, for example, in the piano one, how I did. You want to change the presets. You like this? You like this voice, and you want a different preset for the ARP. How do we do that? How do we do that? Let's go to the arpeggio F4. Okay, the switch is on. That's uh, whether or not it works. The hold. Uh, it should be self-explanatory on that one. Tempo is, yeah, the beat. Velocity limit, 1 to 127. That's full range. Softest, you can play the note for it to register to the hardest on this keyboard. Um, you could change it to where you have to least hit it X amount of strength um, by its register for it to even play. So you have to hit it hard for it to process. You can change it over. Um, here we go. Here's the sound. 
I want to click category search and it opens up a bunch of them. You might not even know uh, have known that those were there. Let's uh let's find something new. Lead, we're just going to guess. I don't know. On the top of my head. Or pick something I got in here. Let's go with this one. It's not doing anything. How do we solve that mystery? How are we going to do that? We're going to go to effects, F6. General, F1. Ooh, I have messed up. Exit. Uh, take that back. Play. Effects. Ah, oh, it's under art main. There we go. Haha, we can almost splice that out of the video. Combined it. Uh, so art main. What we're going to do from art main is uh, you're going to go from direct, which is going to play the sound straight through, which is not what we need for this art uh, preset. We're going to change it to either sort, which is going to play it and um, uh, it's going to almost have it in a preset way um, compared to through, where through will uh, allow the notes to be played a little more closer to how you have it on the keyboard with the octave wise. I, I believe sort is going to sort it, um, the octaves together and kind of arrange the notes in a different way. That was a little, uh, I haven't looked too much into it. You'll play with it. You should be able to hear it. Let's try through. Let's try sort. I'm doing a fifth. It's on. Go to through. Yeah, there's different things. Um, you can even do direct and sort. Okay, yeah, so this is pretty much your basics on how it works. Uh, time changing, real time uh, measure. The, one of these, it should link it up with the beat so it sounds a little better when you're switching over that you are not like me and how the timing is all off. That's that's gonna cover it. Uh, one last thing to add. Okay, presets. Some of them are kind of specific to an instrument. Uh, more specifically, I'm thinking guitar. Some of these presets in here are meant to thrive under the associated patch sound. You know, uh, some of those guitars. Let's see if I can track one down right now. We have voice on category search. Let me take off favorites guitar. I don't, I can't recall off the top of my head the name, but I think if I see it, I'll remember. Anyways, if you come across one, they have, um, they're awkward to play. They're awkward to play without the patch in there. Here we go, let's try this 200 mid drive. <coughs> Yeah, like that's not that awkward. I'm gonna try it with the the arp sound. So yeah, so should hello. That's without the arp. Yeah, well, you guys can have fun all range of things. The next video, I'm planning on uh, telling you how to make your own sequence underneath our, uh, like your own custom patch for the art sound. So if you want to do an ascending arpeggio, I imagine there's one in there, but for example's sake, if you want to make your own ascending arpeggio sound, you can program this.
and then when you press a note, say it's going to do that sequence. You could change it in different uh, things. Uh, you can even change the timing. And uh, whatever. It's going to be a quick one just to show you how to get through the buttons. And uh, hopefully with your creativity on this workstation, you can go far. Please subscribe. See you guys later.